New tonight, attorneys representing Flint residents were in court today after filing a motion asking the judge to hold the city and its mayor in contempt of court. Back in 2017, a key settlement was reached requiring the city to replace tens of thousands of lead service lines for residents. But even after that deadline was extended, attorneys say much of the work has yet to be done. Our Ray Strickland reports from the federal courthouse in Detroit with reaction from a Flint resident and the city. It's been nine years since lead was found in the city of Flint's water supply, and many residents are still dealing with issues related to the public health crisis. Getting the lead service lines out are only one single part of this, and here we are, we're not finished yet. Flint so resident Melissa Mays joined attorneys in federal court in Detroit after filing a motion to hold the city and its mayor in contempt of court. It's their latest attempt to get the city to comply with the 2017 settlement that required the city to replace tens of thousands of lead service lines for residents by January 2020. Earlier this year in February, a judge found the city violated the settlement by missing the deadline to finish removing Flint's lead pipes which led the city to agree to get it done by August 1st of this year. But attorneys for Flint families say residents are still dealing with damaged lawns and sidewalks because the city has yet to show up to finish the job for so many across the city. So far, the city has identified over 4,000 homes that never received the property repairs they were entitled to. And those residents have been living with damaged lawns and with damaged sidewalks for years. And as a result of these missed deadlines, the city is further prolonging the amount of time that Flint residents are being denied the rights they're guaranteed under this agreement. In response, a spokesperson for the city sent this statement saying, quote, the city of Flint is continuing to work with our contractor, Row Professional Services, to complete all service line excavations, replacements, and restorations as quickly as possible. We are confident that the city is on track to meet all requirements of the settlement agreement by August 1st, 2023, end quote. The judge didn't rule on the case and ordered post-hearing briefs to be submitted in July. For May, she says she doesn't have confidence the city will keep its word and finish the work required in the settlement. I can just walk out of my front door and see work that's not been done. So I don't have a whole lot of faith that it's going to be done because I don't see a sense of urgency on the city or the state side. And the judge has ordered the plaintiffs in this case to file their briefs by July 14th and gave the city until July 21st to do so. So it's likely the judge will rule in this case by late July. Reporting in Detroit, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Detroit.